Hello, I'm Dr. Vinny Karana from CNS Neurosurgery and Neurological Surgery Victoria. I want to share some pretty amazing innovations in minimally invasive techniques for brain and spinal surgery. This is a two-part YouTube video. The first part concerns the brain and the second part concerns the spine. I hope you find this presentation as fascinating as I do. Here is an example of brain tumours shown by the green arrows with some swelling shown by the yellow arrows. The tumours were mapped using our GPS system which is also referred to as neuronavigation to find us the most ideal pathways to get these tumours out. Here you can see the tumour tissue marked by the yellow arrow and normal brain marked by the green arrow. This is the other tumour. It is also a cancer deposit marked by the yellow arrow. And you can see the corridor that is being used between the brain by the green arrow and the covering of the brain known as the dura by the magenta arrow. The left hand image shows the preoperative scan of one of the tumours and the right hand image shows that that tumour has been removed and a small cavity that will eventually fill itself is left in the centre. In this image on the left hand side you can see the other tumour before it was removed and on the right hand side you can see that tumour after it was removed. There is a small amount of blood deposit around the lining of the tumour cavity that will eventually resolve on its own. This is the patient's forehead. The tumours have been removed from this lady using an incision in the forehead and one just behind the forehead. This is a picture of the lady sitting next to her bed one day after surgery and the green arrows show the barely visible incisions that will cosmetically heal very nicely and are indicative of a minimally invasive approach. This image is from another patient who had a very large tumour. The green arrow shows that tumour and the yellow arrow points to the swelling of the brain around that tumour. Once the tumour has been removed, this MRI shows there is only a small cavity that is left behind that fills itself in over time. This is the same patient. On the left you can see the very large tumour that measured 7 centimetres in maximum diameter. On the right you can see a few weeks after surgery where the staples are still in there, just about to be removed, the beautifully healing incision under the hairline. Again, the footprint of a minimally invasive procedure. And similarly, minimally invasive techniques can be applied to surgery involving the brainstem area, such as microvascular decompression, where little blood vessels as shown by the green arrow, this vessel measures only 1.5 millimetres in diameter, can be moved away from the nerve tissue that those vessels compress, such as the trigeminal nerve, in this case shown by the blue arrow. And you can see the surgery has involved putting a small piece of Teflon padding between the blood vessel that was annoying the nerve tissue and that piece of padding will prevent or reduce the chances of disabling nerve pain, in this case facial pain, that this patient was experiencing. That operation was accomplished through a small incision behind the ear and a small craniotomy around the size of a 20 cent piece.